LexisNexis started back in 1914 in New Zealand. It was already a global company at that stage and it was known as Butterworths in Wellington, bringing annotated and updating services to the legal industry. LexisNexis is obviously a part of a global entity and we're very proud of that fact and we get a great sense of strategy and investment and ideas from that global framework. But we also like to be very sure we are meeting needs of our customers in this market. We have a recognised brand in our market. We've been here for a hundred years. The most critical function that organisations like LexisNexis fulfils is that they allow smaller firms, medium-sized firms, to be on an absolute par with the bigger firms. We are serving our customers that work with communities and those communities need access to the rule of law. The challenge though is that we operate in a very different environment. It's complex. There are different types of solutions. It's content in context at the desktop for the lawyer. It's making their day different to what it used to be and ultimately giving better customer service. Our goal is to make sure that lawyers have all of the tools they need to make their job easier and to make sure they know the most current information, the most accurate information and the best tips from the experts. Working in the legal environment, they understand what they're talking about. Whether it's a retired judge or a professor, which is the leader in that specific field, it carries weight and it helps the argument. And as a publisher, you can only make that available to the market when you are endorsed by the best of the best. We have a lot of authors who consider themselves to be LexisNexis authors. They've been with us, some of them up to sort of 40 or 50 years. I start with the Butterworths Conveyancing Bulletin in the mid-1970s which I've edited since its inception. When I came to write Public Law Toolbox, I asked around and found out who was the best on online publishing. And the good thing about LexisNexis was, it wasn't just in New Zealand, it was also in Australia and the United Kingdom. So I thought, well, if I want to expand Public Law Toolbox to Australia and the United Kingdom, they'll be right there. It's very important that we, we come up with uh, credible authors working in the legal environment. They understand what they're talking about. It's very exciting to work with such a talented group of authors to make sure that this great information makes it out to the world. A lot of our customers are used to using loose leaf hard copy, you know, it's been around for hundreds of years. And LM Red is a digital representation of that, but it's a lot more than that. It's a personal referencing tool for lawyers. Um, I think that's enormously powerful because it goes right to the heart of what a lawyer does in their day to day. There are young lawyers coming through law school now who are learning how to mine data and information in a vastly different way than they even did four or five years ago. LexisNexis are taking the lead in terms of their implementing learning management systems that will assist the academic schools to move towards that online environment. The legal market and the world is going digital. There is going to be challenges in that. We want to be beside our customers, helping them through those challenges, solving their pain points, and we want to be doing that for the next 100 years. In order to do that, we have to be on top of innovation, we have to understand their needs, and we have to do it extremely well. LexisNexis is always looking at new innovative ways in that, uh, and disruptive technologies that we can bring to market that will allow lawyers to work in the way that their clients clients also want them to operate. What we have to move into in the future is not just be a content company, but be a content and technology company. Professionals who are using legal resources now without even knowing it is where we need to grow. We have fabulous staff members here who know their industry well. We tell our staff where we're going, how we are moving from being a content firm to being a content technology firm. The people you deal with in the company are the face of the company to you. With one of the key values being customer focus, that really unifies us. That is motivating and I think that drives some of the passion in our staff. Every year we decide what we're going to focus on in terms of our, our charitable activities. We have sponsored children in the past, we have supplied product to our charities in various countries around the world. We are specifically this year concentrating on Slave Free Seas initiative. Our staff have put a lot of their work time and indeed their personal time into developing this. You can see the difference that we make to society. I like being able to provide information that somebody is going to use, hopefully for the rest of their career. I love being part of a team who I know is advancing the rule of law. 
our customers work in the commercial field or the criminal field, it's all the very important aspects of the rule of law and being involved in helping them do their work is very rewarding. I think it's a great culture that we have here at LexisNexis. The main passion is, is helping customers accordingly, so if they're going to spend a dollar, it's going to be worthwhile to them. It's great to work in a company that has such a clear purpose and the type of purpose that gets you out of bed ready to go wanting to do something to make a difference. At the end of the day, legal information is just a tool. It's just what's in the bucket. But the issue is knowing what to do with the bucket and which information to access when. The great thing I love is that all of this legal information allows you to be creative. Creative to be the best possible advocate you can be. Our credibility comes from our history. We've had a hundred years of great content but we're only as good as our last update. So I think we've got to make sure we engage with the market, that we have the best authors, that we have the best content, that we have the best products that meet those changing needs. So welcome to the first day of our next 100 years.